Hello there. I'd like to invite you to a time of Celtic worship, the time to come and sit on holy ground and to pray together from the center of our heart, soul, mind, and body. Draw closer to God through simple and everyday words and symbols. We will be exploring some of Jesus' walk to Jerusalem today. So come and journey with others who are seeking a closer connection with the holy through the lens of the Celtic tradition. Worship with all the senses and with an openness of mind, heart, and soul. Welcome. O oh God, you call all life into being. The earth, sea, and sky are yours. Your presence is all around us. Every atom is full of your energy. Your spirit enlivens all who walk the earth. With her, we yearn for justice to be done, for creation to be free from threat, for the hungry to be fed, for captives to be released, for your kingdom of peace to come on earth. Let us pray. O oh God, gladly we live and move and have our being in you. Yet always in the midst of creation's glory, we see sin's shadow and feel death's darkness. It is around us in the earth, sea, and sky, in the abuse of matter. It is beside us in the broken, the hungry, and the poor, in the betrayal of one another, and often deep within us, in a striving against your spirit. O Trinity of love, forgive us that we may forgive each other. Heal us that we may become people of healing and renew us that we may be makers of peace. Amen. I'd like to invite you in to our first of three meditation times. They are three minutes of silence, a time to think, meditate, and ponder the holy. What is God saying to you this day?
saying sorry. God, you know me. You know that I can be loving and kind. And you know that sometimes I can get things wrong. I'm sorry for the times I hurt other people, the times I forget to listen to you and don't bother to take care of your world. May God forgive you, Jesus bless you, and God's Spirit help you to grow in love. Amen. God, you know us. You know that we can be loving and kind, and you know that sometimes we can get things wrong. We're sorry for the times we hurt other people, the times we forget to listen to you and don't bother to take care of your world. May God forgive you, Jesus bless you, and God's Spirit help you to grow in love. Amen. Prayer of Commitment God of new beginnings, you long for us to live in love and justice with our neighbors, with friends and strangers, with people everywhere. You call us to be just and loving in our working, in our shopping, in our caring, and through our prayers. Jesus, you were a storyteller. You talked about money, wages, and taxes. You told stories about integrity and forgiveness. You helped people who were in trouble. You listened to people who were sad. You call us to live as you did, to listen to each other, to be forgiving, and to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Holy Spirit, we are discovering what you ask of us. You are wild and wise and you speak the truth. You challenge and you comfort us. You breathe life into us. You shout in the streets and you whisper in our ears. You remind us what Jesus taught and what he practiced. You take us to task. You tell us to turn around. You call us to walk in love's way. Holy Trinity, God's love in community every day and all our living. You help us to say yes to you. Amen. I invite you into our first um, three minutes of silence. Actually, this is our second three minutes of silence. It's three minutes to think, meditate, and ponder the holy. What is God saying to you this day?
We'll listen to a holy reading now. We are reading from a book called Two Minutes with God, One Minute to Listen, One Minute to Pray by Leslie Brown. When life has meaning. In John chapter 15, it says, You did not choose me, but I chose you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. He who has a why to live can bear almost any how, said an old philosopher. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, said Jesus. It is in the love and grace of God that empty souls find filling, guilty hearts find forgiveness, purposeless lives find a goal and design. You need to acknowledge that you are a person of worth. Such significance is not due to something acquired or merited through personal effort. I chose you and appointed you, said Jesus. It began with creation when the human being was made in the spiritual image of God. That image was abused and distorted by sin and self-centeredness. The Christian is restored to God and God's purposes by means of the cross and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You have been set free from sin's guilt and are now the recipient of God's saving grace. Thus, you can no longer live for yourself. It would only lead you up blind alleys or down dead-end streets. You are not your own. You were bought at a price, wrote Paul. Whether your work week is utilized in typing letters, collecting garbage, presiding over some corporation or caring for children, genuine meaning for life is realized when you are dedicated to following Christ. You can carry out Christ's purposes no matter what the arena is in which he leads you prayer for the day. Dear Lord, it is difficult to believe that you chose me to be your child and servant on this world in which I have been born. I do not have written within me everything it takes to meet the challenges of life about me or to make any worthwhile contributions to my world or any of its inhabitants. While some of my youthful aspirations were generous and grandiose, they were often fanciful and unrealistic as well. They nevertheless did focus on one thing or another, and you graciously nurtured and shaped them into less selfish objectives. Eternal God, I need again and again to be returned to your will for my life. Forgive me for cluttering it up with self-centered ambitions. Restore me to your orbit and design for me. May the sense of divine purpose and goal keep me steady within and motivate me despite the confusions and consternations I meet along the journey of faith. Amen. For words that tell stories, for words that make us laugh and cry, for words that make us think, we thank you, God. I invite you into our last three minutes of silence, a time to think, meditate, and ponder the holy. What is God saying to you this day?
let us affirm our faith. <clears throat> we believe that God is present in the darkness before dawn, in the waiting and uncertainty where fear and courage join hands, where conflict and caring link arms, and the sun rises over barbed wire. We believe in a with us God who sits down in our midst to share our humanity. We affirm a faith that takes us beyond the safe space into action, into vulnerability, and into the streets. We commit ourselves to work for change and put ourselves on the line to bear responsibilities, to take risks, to live powerfully, and to face humiliation, to stand with those on the edge, to choose life and to be used by the Spirit for God's new community of hope. Amen. I offer you this concluding prayer. Creator of all, Savior of all, Spirit in all, one God in complete community, stay with us now. Where there is apathy, kindle the flame of your love. Where there is deceit, Comfort every lie with your truth. Where there is hopelessness, reveal deep wells of compassion. Where there is joy, let your kindly protection be known. Where we hesitate to serve you, make us restless until we change. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And I offer this blessing. The light of God to lead us the power of God to hold us, the joy of God to heal us, the grace of God to caress us, the love of God to bless us. May God our maker bless us and wrap us round in love and tenderness. May Jesus our brother bless us and ask us questions that lead us to do justice. May the Holy Spirit bless us and fill our lives with her courage and wisdom. May we live bravely in the love of the Trinity all of our nights and days. Amen. I'd like to remind you that we are reopening the Holy Trinity St. Paul Church home this weekend. It is homecoming weekend, September 13th at 9.30. We'll have a BAS service and you all are welcome. Come back when you're ready to come. Some of us are ready now. Some need to wait a little bit longer. Know that we will always be open to you being with us and praying with us and spending time to God with God in our in our holy church. So if we see you this week, fabulous. If not, you know you're in our hearts and our minds and our prayers. And go and have have peace with the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.